I'm outside Keenan Stadium here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, brought to you by the FC Series, where Manchester City are playing Celtic FC, the reigning Premier League champions versus the reigning Scottish Premier League champions. But before we get into the match day experience, we were lucky enough to be invited by North Carolina FC, who hosted the open training for both teams yesterday, and also attend the press conferences where we got to see some special guests. So let's roll right into that. What is going on, guys? We're back here at Wake Med Soccer Park. This place probably looks familiar to you because I've been here like five times in the last year. I came here twice for TST, and I was actually here last summer for Chelsea versus Wrexham for their open training. But we're not here for those two teams today. We're actually here for Celtic, who is currently behind me, and Manchester City, who are facing off against each other tomorrow at UNC's football stadium, Keenan Stadium, which again, I saw last year with Chelsea and Wrexham. I'm very excited to be here. This is crazy because as you can see, we have field access. We're part of the media team. I don't know how to act right now. But before we get into the training with Celtic and Manchester City, me and Fed, who is holding the camera, AKA Nutmeg City FC, you can go ahead and pan yourself around, dude. <laughs> Shout your channel out. But before we get into the open training, me and Fed had a chance to attend the press conference for Celtic and Manchester City, where we got to ask questions to a certain few players and managers. So let's cut right into that real quick before we get into the open training. We don't belong here. Thank you all for being here. We'll get started this afternoon. Before we get started, it will do a Trinity exchange right now. Good. Okay. Thank you. First off, Casper, welcome to Celtic. My question for you is, you know, what is the biggest challenge for you personally, either on or off the field, coming into a new league and a brand new team? I think the, the biggest challenge is always get, you know, making sure that you perform. Um, that, that's what I'm here to do. I'm brought here to, to do a job and to, to be the best I can be for the team, to help this team uh, keep winning, keep progressing. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a new kind of experience for me in the sense that I'm coming into a team that, that has a, a huge history of winning. And, um, you know, that, that hasn't been uh, something I've done too many times in my life. So, uh, so in that sense, I'm really looking forward to the challenge of, of, of coming into a club that, that's used to excellence, that's used to having the highest of standards. And um, that's the kind of thing I, I usually thrive on. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to, to being a part of that. Thank you. And Brendan, my question for you is, you know, this sport is growing massively here in this country and it has been almost day by day, especially with the World Cup coming in two years. What is the biggest change you have personally seen in this country for this sport from 10 years ago when you were here managing, you know, Liverpool to now? Yeah, and even before that, I was here as a young coach when I was developing. Um, I, I just think the, the, the tactical level of the players, the understanding of the game, I think it was back many years ago when I was here as a young coach, it was, it was the beginnings really. Um, but I think now the I think the the level of the culture, you know, I've met uh, some American coaches on my journey who they work so hard at the game and there's so much passion for the sport. And I was speaking to Troy the other night at DC United and I can tell how much he's invested into his life as a, you know, as a football coach. So I think that passion, that work ethic then spreads to the players and we've seen so many fantastic players. Uh, and, uh, so it's not a surprise the size of the, the nation, the, the sport and excellence that is here in many sports and that will spread to, to football for sure and uh, it's, it's absolutely brilliant to, to be over here and to, to, to feel it and uh, I'm pretty sure it will continue to grow and, and evolve. Thank you. Well, with that, we'll do conclusion to today's press conference. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Casper. As you guys can see, I got to ask a question to new signing for Celtic, Casper Schmeichel, ex-Manchester City, ex-Leicester, ex-Anderlecht, Denmark goalkeeper, and son of Peter Schmeichel, legendary goalkeeper. Both of them are legends. Casper Schmeichel, a Premier League winner, of course, with Leicester. And I got to ask a question to Brendan Rodgers, who led Celtic to an invincible season a couple years ago and got them a league title and then came to Leicester. He also managed Liverpool. Yeah, that was very cool. The Celtic training is about to begin, though. It's actually starting, if I'm not mistaken, if they're behind me over here somewhere. So yeah, Celtic training's already begun. But yeah, it's very cool. And some fun facts about Celtic, in case you don't know already, they are the first British team to ever win a European Cup. They won back in 66 and 67. They're one of the one of five teams who have actually won over 100 
trophies for their club. They have the second most Scottish Premier League championships with 54. They're one behind Rangers currently, so they're on the verge and hunt to claim that title because we know how dominant Celtic have been, especially since Rangers had that whole thing that happened where they got demoted a couple leagues down, but they made their way back up. But that's a whole other thing. We're here for Celtic versus Manchester City. Celtic, of course, have USA international camera Carter Vickers, who didn't get to play much in the Copa America, so he's right back to training with the squad, ready to go, fully fit. The press conference for Man City is going to begin in a few minutes. And fun fact about being here with media, Fed, Nutmeg City over here is a Manchester City fan, but he can't tell people. <laughs> and I don't know if I can have that in my video. But for real, he was told to turn his hat around and to and he even hid his Manchester City shoes. He can't we can't let him know he's a city fan. But yeah, guys, I'm not a city fan nor am I a Celtic fan. But these opportunities don't come around very often for us here in the States. And when they do, we take advantage of them. Even though I'm not supporting either one of these teams, y'all know. I'm a Chelsea fan. I'm a diehard Chelsea fan. But yeah, I'm just, I'm happy to see the sport grow here every single day, especially with the Copa America that just happened and with the World Cup happening in two years. This is very big for these clubs to come play here in the States. So yeah, very, very exciting to see these two teams play tomorrow. And it's very cool to see the open training this cl up close and personal as well. There's a lot of fans here and it looks like it's majority Manchester City, but that's kind of what you expect. <laughs> So I think one thing me and you have realized since being here is that the Celtic jersey is now on the cusp of being collected. Absolutely. Because <laughs> I was really shocked by how much I like the Celtic jersey in person. I don't have a Scottish team. When I was younger, I kind of said Rangers because of players like Maurice Adu, Malik Tillman, who's played there recently, just for former, U uh, former and current U.S. national team players. But Celtic now I have Cameron Carter Vickers. So if I get a Celtic jersey, I might have to get Carter Vickers on the back of it. You would get yours blank, I would only assume. Uh, yeah, because I don't, I mean, maybe Maybe after this event, <laughs> I'll have a favorite player in Celtic right now, but... I do know about the, um, I apologize to all my Celtic fans, I do know about the Japanese player for Celtic. He's quality. He's actually one of the ones who scored the goal against Spain in the 2022 World Cup that... Yeah. Um, yeah, I was actually eyeing him right now during the training. He's so. quality, if I'm not misunderstanding that. Again, my knowledge for Celtics team is very minimal and I can only apologize. I try to do as much research as I possibly can on the teams before I come see them, so I can only apologize. All my Celtic fans, please get in the comments and tell me more about your club. Tell me the more history than I've already said because I had to look up the facts about them. So yeah, get in the comments and let me know. to Holland is actually insane. The main man Jack Grealish right there. Absolutely ridiculous calf muscles as always. But that's who everyone's here for. Just behind Pep is Erwin Holland. Can you by, ch by chance guess who the fan favorite is? Because I don't think I know just yet. Can't be Holland. Right? I don't think it's Holland. I don't think it's, Holland. it's definitely not Holland. It's definitely Jack Grealish and Calvin Phillips. Kick the ball to Holland. So, oh no, you, that was your chance to say you can kick the ball to Holland. The fans are clearly here for Erling Holland. They are going absolute crazy for him. He's currently on the other side of the field right now and they're still screaming his name. So it's absolutely mental these Man City fans are here all screaming Erling Holland at once. And Erling Holland is just soaking it in, waving at him as much as he can. But yeah, the open training for Man City has now started. There's, they're all on the other side of the field. That's why I'm not recording them just yet. Manchester City, four back-to-back -back Premier League titles. The only team to do that. Treble winners in 2022-23. Yeah. Yeah, this could be Pep's last season. They asked him a question about, is this his last season? Is he going to international management? He just said he's just focused on this season and he's happy here. So big season ahead of him. A lot of challenges his way with the fact that Ederson might leave. There's talks of Kevin De Bruyne going to Saudi. No one really knows yet. But enough of the talk. Let's get into the Man City training and show a little montage right here of all the City players doing their thing.
absolutely love it every single time. Holland scores a goal. No matter how he scores it, if he kicks it and it goes in the goal, this crowd is celebrating. It's awesome to see, really. All right, so guys, I'm here with reigning E Premier League champion for FC24. Tex, Tex, how are you, man? It's nice to see you. I'm good. We're out in North Carolina for City. We're down here for the US tour. Um, we've got open training going on right now. Uh, it's good to see. North Carolina, though, I've got a few issues with it. Why is it uh -oh. so hot? And why is it so rainy at the same time? Why is it thunderstorm? Yeah, you, would, you wouldn't think with this weather right now, as hot as it is, that it was actually flash flood warnings earlier in the roads. Really? Yeah, I was on my way here and there was actually to, flood in the road. To be fair, I was watching a US basketball on the hotel telly uh -huh. and, it, and it did say flood warning. Yeah, it was flood, yeah, so. But then it's 40 degrees, so it makes no, it makes no <laughs> sense. And we haven't had rain in like two weeks until today. Really? Yeah. yeah. Good, good seeing so, you. Good seeing you, man. Appreciate you. Y'all check out Tech's channel. Link in the bio down below. And make sure you, and make sure you support him on this year. Oh, what you doing uh, FC25 this year yeah, too? Yeah, of Yep. Make sure you guys go support him. I appreciate you, man. For nice real. One. Erlen Holland getting all the love from the crowd. What's he gonna do? There's no way he's catching all that. Surely. A kid stormed the field and got Grealish. And that's awesome from Jack Grealish too. Tell the kid to tell him security to wait right there and sign the stuff. All right, guys, that is it for the training day. Thank you, Wake Med Soccer Park, for another awesome, awesome event. I can't wait to come back here in a couple months, hopefully for some North Carolina FC games and some NC Courage games. Make sure you're, you be on the lookout for that, by the way. Tomorrow is game day, I'm going home now. Should be exciting. It looks like a Man City have a bunch of youth guys out there, except for the likes of Holland, Grealish, Rico Lewis, Calvin Phillips, Ederson, and Oscar Bob. Those are the main first team players that I can remember. Did I miss any? I don't know. Yeah, and then, Cel <laughs> and then Celtic have their majority of their first team, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, awesome again to do the training event. And tomorrow is game day. So tomorrow we'll head to Keenan Stadium, home of the UNC Tar Heels football team. So yeah, let's get into tomorrow. We have found the Celtic fan group. This is not the fan group you were looking for. Uh, Celtic about to eat my money, really. I really rate the training kit, and I rate the jersey too, and of course Cameron Carter Vickers. I did not fall for the money trap, but you did. Hey man, when you're a shirt collector, you, you gotta do it, you know? Are you gonna pull for City though or Celtic? I'm gonna pull for my team, but I also appreciate a team that has a good jersey. Well, at least like Brendan Rodgers says in the press conference, y'all aren't rivals, it doesn't matter. Exactly, I'm just here for the good time. It's a really nice jersey, I just did not want to drop the price you just paid for it. Look, it's only $118, <laughs> that's pocket change to me. Uh, uh, it's not pocket change. It's not pocket change. <laughs> Guys, you would think this line right here is to get in, but no, it's just to get a picture with the Premier League trophy. But yeah, they got cornhole out, cheerleaders, drummers, you got kids doing practice drills with the Man City coach. That's pretty cool, actually. Very interesting right here. They have a boot wall. Is this to represent what the players wear? I think it is. I'm, I don't think I'm right, though. I really do not know. And then Manchester City have their three trophies right here that they won last year. City fans in full force, and I keep running into this guy. So my brain is putting the three trophies, Premier League, Club World Cup, and the UEFA Super Cup. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Thank you, Fed, because I don't know what trophies are like anymore as a Chelsea fan, as I already joked about. But yeah, lots of City fans here today, um, more than Celtic, of course. There's the Manchester City pop-up shop. Only thing I like about this up here is I'm gonna zoom in on it, is that poster. Again, I'm not a City fan or a Celtic fan, so it doesn't make any sense for me. Oh, that's just lovely. So apparently there's a lightning in the area. You can probably see, yep, all those clouds behind me. There's lightning and thunder delay. Uh, they haven't given us an estimate of how long, but they're clearing out not only the seats itself, but the whole stadium, which is very unfortunate. We are allowed back in the stadium. It was about a 15 to 20 minute delay. Kickoff is still on time. They didn't delay the kickoff time, but we're going back to our seats now and the teams are warming up, so take a look. The Celtic lineup is out. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really don't know much about uh, Celtic other than Casper Schmeichel making his first team appearance for Celtic. But what I have seen in the comments though, is that Celtic are very worried about their back line and Holland is gonna bully that back line. And the Man City lineup is out as well. Ortega and goal, Ederson on the bench. Ederson is very likely to leave. Rico Lewis starts at fullback. Calvin Phillips is getting a start. He is getting some minutes. Will he be leaving? No one's sh sure yet. And then the front three of Oscar Bob, Grealish, and Holland, and Holland captain. That front three is going to be very scary, but I expect this whole 11 to change in the second half. So my score prediction is I'm going 4 nothing, City. What's yours? 5-0. 5, okay, 5 nothing, 4 nothing. So we're expecting goals. And we're probably going to, they're all probably going to be scored by Holland. 
I like how you got the Celtic support section over there. And to be honest, that small Celtic section have been kind of louder than this whole stadium, which is full of city supporters. What are you doing, city fans? Everyone around was fooled. Everyone thought it went in. It did not go in. <laughs> Celtic go one nothing up. I don't think anyone expected that. I didn't. It was a great ball out wide. Found him wide open. One on one with the goalkeeper. Slotted home. Easy one nothing for Celtic. Jack Grealish seems to be the only one creating anything for Manchester City. Just did another little twinkle toe run out wide, coming out to the center, creating a chance. But other than him, no one's really creating anything for City, honestly. Great chance for Holland. Great save from Schmeichel, though. Even better save from Schmeichel. One one city equalized. O'Reilly with the ball. A nice little trick dummy from Holland who finds Oscar Bob. And Schmeichel couldn't keep that one out. It just trickles over the line and it's one one. Two one Celtic. It's the same guy who scored the first one. And again it comes off of the right hand side. That left back for Man City is being exploited. Big time. And it's been their only two real good chances at goal, and they've scored both of them. Yeah! 3 1 Celtic. Who would have thought and predicted that? Because I was already way off. 3 1. And City do not look good. I know it's their academy players, but they don't look good at all. 3-1 Celtic at halftime. Absolutely ridiculous. City has been poor. Grealish has done what he can. Holland's had a couple chances saved by, uh, saved by Schmeichel. Schmeichel's been brilliant for Celtic. He's going to be great for them. I expect two completely different 11s for both teams, and it's even more academy for City. Now, what's your thought for your first City game, and they're down 3-1 at half to Celtic? I think Callum Phillips is the best player on the field. I think he's going to save the game. This is Calvin Phillips' number one fan right here, by the way. You know, he's just warming up, you know. Uh, he's going to score all the goals. So you don't want Calvin Phillips to leave? No. He should be starting every game. He should be starting over Holland. He should be the new striker. He can play by himself. He got this. If you have a team of Calvin Phillips' 11 Calvin Phillips', you're winning every trophy possible. The teams are out for second half. Pep Guardiola has kept Holland on, kept Grealish on, so he clearly wants to see better from his team this second half, being 3-1 down to Celtic. <laughs> Not even two minutes into the second half, Man City pull one back, and it's the fullback, Perron. Very young and exciting player for City. I'm excited to see him this year for City, whether he'll get first team minutes or not. But he makes it 3-2, instantly pulls one back for City. Good ball. I didn't get it on my phone, but I got kind of a replay. It's 3-3. As you can hear, who scored? The main man, Erlen Holland, with one of those lethal power headers. Instantly take the lead when Holland and Grealish go off. 4-3. Goal crazy in this game. Can't complain too much as a neutral. Good Travella. Oh! Filthy little Travella cross from Celtic, almost making it 
Only five minutes left to play though. Either team not really going for it anymore. All right, guys, the game is over. It is pretty much an empty stadium. Some Celtic players doing some last minute warm ups before they leave. I'm um, Celtic 1-4-3. I was way wrong in my prediction, but as a neutral, 4-3, not much to complain about. A lot of cities, young players didn't look great, if I'm honest with you. My personal man of the match, other than the Celtic player who scored two, I can't think of his name. What was it? Cunha, something like that, Kuhn. But for Man City, the man of the match for me was Oscar Bob. He was absolutely everywhere from defense to midfield going forward. He was brilliant for Man City. Holland got his goal, which is cool. Unfortunate that I missed it on camera, but I tried getting it to replay. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you again to Wake Med Soccer Park and the media team and all those guys for allowing me and Fed over here to have media access for the open training yesterday. It was a once a lifetime experience and I'm so incredibly grateful for that. To be up close to people like Casper Schmeichel, Pep Guardiola, uh, Oscar Bob and Brendan Rogers is absolute ridiculous. Any final thoughts for you, Fed? I wonder if Calvin Phillips knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> and if he does, and if he does, I wonder if he ever thinks about me. But yeah, guys, make sure you, you guys subscribe if you haven't already to Fed. Absolute awesome channel. Does soccer jersey videos, football jersey hunting videos. I don't know why I said soccer and football, but you know what I mean. Go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the below. And subscribe if you guys haven't already and like the video. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one.